Welcome back. Up next, I have Eileen Newman, Executive Director of the Center for Bronx Nonprofits, and she'll tell us more about what they're doing to strengthen Bronx-based organizations. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you Thanks. for being with us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what, um, what you all are doing over there. Well, we're right now in the middle of planning for the fall. So we've been around now for about five and a half years, and we do a lot of leadership development, so we work with executive directors, we work with people in middle management, and, and we have now a cadre of people who've gone through a lot of our programs. We started with nothing. We have about 1,100 people on our, on our email list. Nice. We teach classes in fundraising and financial literacy for people running nonprofits. But we also do a lot of work with the public. So we do pub what we call public conversations. So we'll bring people from different parts of the Bronx working on a, a similar um, aspect of life in the Bronx. For instance, we brought um, police from the 40th Precinct to sit with the public, but we don't, we don't do it as a distance piece. We do, you sit at a round table like this and you talk mm -hmm. about how you feel about what's going on. And that's kind of a cool idea. So do you do this across the board with all the nonprofits? Are you kind of, you know, trying to get them to be on the same page about how they function? Yes. There's, there, they, we, we work with people, for instance, yesterday I was working with somebody who's starting a nonprofit. So I'm, I'm, I help people who are, have an idea and they want to start a nonprofit and then I help them go through the process. And then we work with executive directors and they, we have what's called a peer learning network, which mm -hmm. is great. And it's, it's almost like, work therapy where people come with a problem and peers help them solve that problem so we're really looking the uh, the idea behind it is if we strengthen the nonprofits in the bronx and there are about 750 of them mm. if we strengthen the people who are running them it strengthens the nonprofits and ultimately that strengthens the community and the people who need the services of the nonprofits everything from health care to the arts to people working with young people so we do it all Nice. Um, yeah. So before we get to uh, the second part of uh, my questioning, how can people get in touch with you? They can email me at enewman at hostos.cuny.edu. Mm -hmm. They can go on the Hostos website and look for the Center for Bronx Nonprofits. And we also have a Facebook page. Awesome. Center for Bronx Nonprofits. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about your show. You you are one of our own I here know. at BronxNet. It's so tell funny. me a little bit about it. How's it going? So, so I actually started years ago. I went on Open and I started bringing nonprofits on. Um, and then that led to me hosting my own show called Mission BX. So it's once a month. It's um, it doesn't air it the same way Open does. So it's not the same time every week. But but you can find all the episodes on Mission BX. Dot, if you go to BronxNet.org and you look, at, so we we focus on different nonprofits. We're almost never in the studio. I haven't seen this new beautiful studio because <laughs> we, for instance, will go, do a show on rocking the boat. So we had three cameras on boats out in the middle of the river. We did twice, or, or a couple, the, the show that we did before the last one was at CrossFit South Bronx CrossFit mm. because we featured. Grace Outreach, and they raise money by um, taking part in a women's weightlifting competition. Ooh, so we had a whole show. The last show we filmed, which is will come on either the end of the week or the beginning of next week, was at Brown, Banana Kelly, and it's one of their housing spaces. And we brought in a funder who's been funding them. We brought in the ED of Banana Kelly and people who live there and work there. So we like to get out in the field to really show. We've been in gardens. So it's it it's gone into a whole other direction nice. than just the studio interview and it's really fun and it's fun to see well it sounds like fun I look forward to catching the next episode uh, we're going to go ahead and thank Eileen for being here thank you so much for chatting with us today thank you for staying with us we'll be right back right after this